07 Commanders, I'm Tyron, and in today's video, we'll be visiting a possible impact of the new double engineered FSD and what it means for your daily drivers. A quick recap within record time, rare goods have been delivered, completing the Galactic Summit's community goal. This completion has unlocked a unique FSD, maximally engineered with increased range and fast boot sequence, making it the furthest jumping grade 5 FSD in game. As of February 26, 3307, the FSD is now purchasable at any human technology broker, moving the module from legacy into the meta. Focusing on the top three ships with respect to jump range, we see little change. Prior to the new FSD's introduction, the Anaconda sat in the lead with a 78.3 light year jump range, followed by the Diamondback Explorer's 68.5 and the Crate Phantom's 67.4. With this new FSD, we see the DBX in the lead with 78.8 light years, followed by the Anaconda at its previous value of 78.3 and the Crate Phantom's new value of 77.6. As I said, not too much of a change in the top three. With the top ships discussed, the greatest change is found in the Dolphin. With its size 4 FSD unimpacted by the community goal, it now falls behind the Crate Mark II the Type 7 Transport, the Python, and the Alliance Chieftain. What's interesting, if we exclude the larger ships, giving a commander the means to land virtually everywhere, we're left with the Crate Mark II, the Python, and the Alliance Chieftain. Three new candidates to become your next daily driver. As the FSD has now come out permanently, in future videos, I'll be testing these three candidates against the Dolphin and discuss the concept of making the map smaller. With that, Commanders, that's it for this video. I'm Tyron. And I'll see you in the black.